Hi everyone, it's Stacey Bromley, London 2012 Olympic swimmer and four times British champion. I'm happy to be working with Wiltshire Council on Ask the Athlete. I now have your questions in, so I'm going to try my best to answer them for you. Question one. How old were you when you started swimming? I was roughly around the age of four. My parents put me into swimming lessons to gain water confidence. Question two. When did you realise you could become an elite swimmer? Probably the first time would have been when I was asked to go and join the age group squad up at the University of Bath and train in their 50 metre pool. Question three. What did it feel like when you became a British champion for the first time? absolutely amazing obviously winning anything is a great achievement let alone then going on to win it another three times question four what did it feel like when you were selected for london 2012 and what was your experience like at those games initial thought and process was oh my god i actually done it all that hard work has paid off i finally have got my end goal of going to an Olympic Games. Uh, I remember celebrating with my parents that evening with food and cocktails. My experience at those games was one of the best experiences in my life. Obviously being a home Olympics, a crowd was amazing. I remember on my race day, just before my race, the crowd was so noisy. I forgot to hear the whistle to get up on the block. And I remember the ref telling me it was time to get up. So I felt really embarrassed and really stupid at that time, but that got my adrenaline going for the race. Did you have, question five, did you have any favorite music you listened to when you were training? Being a swimmer and being submerged in water, that wasn't really possible. Sometimes the coaches played music on deck, but you only got to hear that when you were resting, which wasn't much. Question six. Which other athlete inspired you when you were swimming and why? I wouldn't say any in particular athlete, just anyone in general who worked hard, tried their best and never gave up. They were the kind of people that inspired me. Question seven, what's the best bit of swimming related advice you have ever received and who was it from? And what advice would you give a young swimmer? My parents always told me to just try my best and that's all I could do. My coaches would tell me never give up. I suffered two knee injuries during my career. That set me back quite a bit, but they always believed in me and said, don't ever give up on your dream. So I would tell all the young swimmers out there, just try your best, that's all you can do. And just don't give up when times get tough. Question eight. Are you friends with any famous swimmers and are there any funny stories you can tell us from your time in competitions? The most well-known swimmer most people will know at the moment um, would have been Rebecca Adlington. I went away on lots of training camps and competitions with her and shared accommodation rooms with her. As for funny stories, I can't think off the top of my head of any, but there would have been so many. Um, being swimmers, we like to train hard, but after that's all done and dusted and we do have some downtime, we do also like to party hard. So there would have been and are some funny stories to tell, but I'm not going to expose that right now. Question nine, as a mum, what has been the toughest thing about lockdown? Probably with having two kids, aged two and four, having the park shut, that was quite hard. My boys love going to the park to burn off some energy. And also I started potty training my two year old. So there was a lot of accidents on the floor, which were pretty stressful, but now that has been cracked. So I'm glad lockdown did happen and it got me motivated to potty train him. And question 10, do your children enjoy sports and is their favorite activity swimming? My eldest, he started his swimming lessons when he was three, but hasn't been swimming lately due to the lockdown. 
He also likes playing tennis with his dad and he has tried football. He is very sporty, but I wouldn't say swimming is his favourite. Hopefully, my youngest, we will start him swimming when he's three as well in this preschool swimming lessons. This week's Ask the Athlete Challenge is slightly different. It's a show and tell of some of my most proudest sporting achievements. I'm going to start with my Olympic certificate. So this shows that I participated at London 2012. Back in 2003, I went to the European Youth Olympic Games in Paris, where I won two golds and a bronze. My parents got my medals framed for me and these are hung up in my house too. And I challenge you guys to share your sporting achievements by either sending a picture or a short video on Active Wiltshire's Facebook or Twitter. I have enjoyed sharing some time with you guys and I hope you all keep well and safe and follow the government guidelines. If anyone is looking for extra support, then please go to the Active Communities webpage where there'll be a variety of information. Assi Athlete will be back in a couple of weeks with another of Wiltshire's elite athletes. So look out for that on Active Wiltshire's social media. Take care. Bye.